Hello everyone, Nick from Swoosoft here, and welcome to yet another tip of the week. So this week we're going to be quickly looking at detailing precast sandwich walls with impact. So my screen is here, so I'm just going to look this way. But as I say always is without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So project manager here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and open my drawing. So I have it here. I want to do some sandwich panels. So where I want to be is I want to be at walls. I have a little architect drawing here, which I have a polyline for the whole building. Why? I will show you now. Basically, we have some functions in impact to help us a lot. And I want to draw my sandwich panels here. And I want to use this polyline to draw it with with 20 millimeter gap, and then to use my left, right, straight connection. Now the software, it will suggest when, uh, uh, where do you wanna break up the elements? And I could have it to do all the corners, and then I can just simply select, you know, where to break it up. So breaking up a whole building like this is done now. That's it. Of course, later on when we add the solid walls and so on, we will get them as well. So here we go. So basically now we have all the elements. Everything is made in, if I go in, just show you guys here, in 3D, you can see here it says, oh wait, you have something here you didn't split properly, it's too big. So basically, of course, we go in and we'll split that one as well. So we can always do it, I almost say, the old fashioned way, but very easy, very straightforward. I quickly want to add some windows and some doors maybe, just to show you guys the process. Here we go. So it, it's the same way all the way around. And we'll do a couple down here as well. And then we'll do some elements also for you guys so you can see how far do we actually get. So we hit enter a couple of times. We go in, say now we want the doors. They need to be rotated the other way around. Here we go. And what we wanted to do is we want to take all of our wall panels here. And we want to add the windows. So it's going to automatically calculate placement of the lifters, the bracers, and everything like that. Uh, so it's next to the windows. So right now you can see it's going through it, adding the windows, scanning all the edges, and so on. And that's actually it. So if I go in and look at something, like for example, this one here, I will just go in and say, please show me the presentation of this object here in a solid full 3D. And you can go in and say, oh, there are the lifters, the bracing moved accordingly. We have the door in, we have everything in there as well. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna add some, uh, wire loops for these guys here. Why not for the whole project at once? So let me add in a custom material template for all the sandwich panels. And I'm gonna do my wall panel 42 centimeter wire loop connection. And it's basically gonna go through the whole thing and add all the wire loops, scanning all the elements, adding everything to me, and then finishing up uh, by me having the elements detailed. So it's already finished. If I go to the isometric one, we can see we've added wire loops here. In this case, only a couple, but of course you can put a CC of 600 and so on 
on it if you need that cc of 400 in this case it's just added these two what i want to do now is i want to save my elements and then i want to create the drawing so you guys can see how far are we we spent a little bit less than five minutes now so let's go so i'm going to save everything all the elements into my database And it's going to work its way through and give them numbers, all of them, have them the same numbers if they're identical and so on. And then everything's ready to create these automatic job drawings and so on. Everything's saved. So let's just say, well, make me a drawing then of this element here with the door in it. Yes, please. We'll click OK. And what it's going to do is also going to open up the drawing for me. Or at least I can just hit a button and open it up in here. So let's just go ahead and open our drawing here. Open the job drawing of this element here, number SW16. So here you can see everything that's in the drawing, reinforcement, geometry, and so on. And in this case here, we have geometry drawings. And all the black lines you see, of course, those are just viewports. They don't get printed out. So we have the details at the edges, we have a 3D of the element, we have the sections all without reinforcement in, and then I have a reinforcement page as well, where we have the reinforcement above the door opening, we have uh, the reinforcement in the sections as well, and we can also have a 3D model with reinforcement if we like that. But that is the tip for the drawing sandwich panels in Impact. We can do much, much more at holes, Add circular holes, add electric keys, so much more. But this is a tip, so we'll keep it as short as we can. If you'd like to know more, go in and check one of our webinars. Get in touch with me, one of my colleagues, of course, and uh, we'll be happy to help you out. That's it for the tip of the week, guys. So thanks. See you in the next one.